a balancing act. It is. Melissa Cabral live in Gold River with how the Bureau of Reclamation controls lake levels when wet weather strikes. Good morning. Yes, you guys, listen to this. The water is gushing at a whopping 1,200% increase before the storm, than before the storm. So I think the one question, Lewis Moore, the Bureau of Reclamation, everybody wants to know is why are we releasing so much water? Right now, we're in the middle of our flood operation season, so it's required that we maintain safe space in the reservoir. And so looking at the inflow to the reservoir, that's one of the reasons we have to make some larger releases. What happens if you decide not to? Because I know every precious drop matters when we're, we've been in a drought. Absolutely. So there's a coordinated effort amongst uh, federal, state, local agencies to look at the demand. What is the need for the water that we have in the system? So we provide and meet those demands while protecting downstream communities through these flood operations. And there would be flooding as well, getting such an influx of water in such a short amount of time. Absolutely. Uh, there are low-lying areas that are going to receive some runoff, but what we do is we manage the system to maintain the water supply in the channels that are designed. All right, you guys, take a look at this graphic. This is from the U.S. Drought Monitor just released within the last hour, showing a difference of our golden state between a week ago and now today. And that's not even including Tuesday's totals. Are we still in a drought, I think, is the one question on a lot of people's minds. Right. One of the things about drought is it's a long-term effect. If we compare this year to last year, we are about two-thirds better off in this year's uh, rain condition. Last year, we only had about 200,000 acre-feet of storage. This year, about 674,000. That, that sounds promising. It really is. The problem is if we don't get continued rain and runoff, we're going to have this water only to work with for the rest of the year. So what do you guys need for the rest of the season? Not just any kind of rain. You need cold storms. Absolutely. The colder the storm, the better. We get some snowpack build up as we get into the warmer months. That's the water supply that melts and run into our reservoirs, and that provides all the need going forward. All right. Any other questions or that you get on a daily basis? Right. So one of the main questions is why are we releasing all of this water? And this is uh, one of our primary functions to protect downstream communities. That's through our flood operations. That is to ensure that we're in control of the system. We pass the water through uh, as promptly and safely as possible. Yeah, one of Lewis's hidden talents, you guys, is we, as he mentioned, he's a juggler. He could juggle all this. And a very, very smart guy. I trust him with our water system. We'll send it back to you. Science and math. Right, good stuff. Thanks, Mel. People do. They wonder why can't we just hold on to it all yeah. and save it for, for when we really day. need it right. for, for a not rainy day, <laughs> for a not rainy day in exactly. the summertime. But they can't just release it all down. They've got to manage those flows down the American River for the rest of us. So, yeah. thanks, Mel.